What's up everybody? So I uh, got a new air conditioner, a little window unit for the office today. I've had people ask me before about installing these things. They're pretty simple and yeah, yeah, I know I don't do a whole lot of DIY stuff anymore, but if I'm doing something cool that I think might benefit somebody, then why not record it, right? Content. All right, anyway, um, yeah. So I've got it unboxed and everything. It's just a little 5,000 BTU unit. It's gonna go in this window. All right, and I already got the hardware and everything out. All right, this is your top mounting rail. It will go right here. This is essentially going to be what keeps it from falling out of the window. Assortment of screws, some little brackets and stuff, some weather stripping, these little accordion seals which will go on either side of the unit, okay? And of course instructions. I'll admit I did cheat and looked at the instructions because of these little bits. Because I, I have no clue what to do with those. But apparently, it's a lock frame for wooden windows, lock frame for vinyl clad, sash lock, and then it shows us, okay, it shows you what to do there, so if you need those. And essentially, these little support brackets, I guess, are to keep the window sill, or the, the accordion thing from being opened or something, I don't know. Very important, make sure you uh, use your weather stripping. All right, let me throw this in there real quick and we'll finally have some air conditioning, which is great because it's been like 80, 90 degrees in here. Now, I'm not one to complain about it being too hot, okay? I, I do not complain about it being too hot because I hate the cold and I will take 80 degrees over 30 degrees any day. But anyway, let's let's hop to it. Oh yeah, you'll uh, you'll need one of these. And I'm actually probably going to need a drill because the, the window is metal and I want to be able to lock it so nobody can get in. So make sure you secure it. I'll show you that in a second. Just make sure you line these holes up. Oop. All right, so we got our, our top mounting bracket in place. And this came with weather stripping, so it uh, got a nice seal under there. Won't let any air or bugs in. One, two, three, four, got all the screws. Okay, now we just have to, to put these things on. Now these, again, these are gonna go on either side here. That's what helps if your window's too wide or whatever for the air conditioner, this is what's gonna fill that gap. And you'll notice these are labeled. So this one says left, and this one says right. See, see right there, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to mount these, you'll notice you have a, a little channel right here. See the little channel? Top one, there's one there. But before you slide it in, you have to uh, you have to pull this out to the edge and slide it in first. All right, so you gotta get peel this back just a little bit, and then that'll slide right down inside of there. There we go. All right. Slide that sucker. All right. Now just repeat that for the left side. All right, now let's get the window open and um, and get it mounted in. All right, so go ahead and get your window open as, as far as it'll go, and then we gotta take this, this screen out somehow. Um, outside, maybe? I haven't taken one of these screens out. Take a look. Oh, okay, yeah. So on this, we're just gonna well, pop it. Yeah. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the screen out. Windows ready. Oh, it's gonna be a tight fit. Okay, so as you know, especially for me and probably for some of you, nothing is ever uh, nothing's ever quite as easy as it should be. Um, if you'll notice in this case, okay, so this is this has the slide here, right? This has the slide here, and. Um, Basically, they are as narrow as they can be, and the wind is too small. But that's okay, we can fix that. One thing if I might note is be very careful not to damage these, okay? They're a little bitty aluminum fins, that's part of the little radiator on the back. So the Freon and everything runs through, uh, what do they call that on the back, the coil? Uh, no, no, it's basically like a radiator, but anyway, that's what uh, that's what cools everything down. So don't bend those because it will uh, 
it'll hinder the cooling abilities. So anyway, what we're gonna do, I don't have all my tools here, but I'm gonna see if I have something we can trim this plastic. Basically, all we have to do is shorten these, bring this back a little bit, and then it should fit. Okay, so in an ideal situation, uh, a hacksaw would probably be the best option for this, but I don't have a hacksaw. Let's see if my trusty old DeWalt knife will uh, will get it. Maybe with the uh, the serrated edge. Let's try. You're gonna have to cut the top and the bottom. Let's start with the bottom. We're we're really close, so I mean, just a little bit. Got the bottom piece. Now let's try the top piece. I'm glad I'm, uh, I'm glad I'm getting air conditioner because because I'm sweating. It's it's about 80 degrees in here already, and uh, best little eight dollar knife I've ever ever bought ever bought. Okay, I'm already tired. Let's get this booger back together here. Right. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully. Put all this back in. All right. Um, let's try this. Yes. It's gonna work. Woohoo! All right. All right. All right. So it looks like it's gonna fit. Um, I got to do just a couple of things to prep. I, uh, I didn't put my weather stripping on anything yet. And you'll notice this actually, okay, it's these thin little metal windows. It has a little uh, little weather strip there, but it's, it's all nasty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up real quick. Okay, and for the, uh, for the bottom part of the window, we're gonna use the adhesive uh, weather stripping seal stuff. All right, so just lay this in here. Cut it to length. There we go. Then just make sure to wipe the windowsill down so that this will, so that it'll stick well. All right, let me just put this right in here. Good enough. All right, so now we're gonna put it in. Just remember this is going to catch on this. All right, so don't let it fall out the window. Okay, now we're working with a very thin metal window, so we're having to improvise a little bit. Normally, normally, normally your window will close right up against this, okay? And then you can screw this right into the window. I'm gonna have to look on the outside because I don't have like a channel or like a bottom sill for this to sit in. So uh, I'm gonna take a look at it real quick. See on these metal windows, you only have a very small little track. So this obviously is not gonna fit down in there and the little metal bracket at the bottom won't sit in there either. But for the most part, it's sealed and that's, that's the important thing. All right, now we're gonna make sure it's secure. We're gonna do just a little bit of work on it. You can see, instead of this resting on this, it's kind of resting on the edge. So I'm gonna have to slide the unit back just a little bit and try to get this to catch on there. All right, so I basically got it in about the best position we can get in without me having to fabricate a bunch of stuff out of wood. Um, again, this is just temporary until we actually get, get a hole cut in that wall. So I am going to seal it up with the other weather stripping that comes with the, uh, with the air conditioner. Got your thick stuff here. All right, so we have this gap here. So we're basically going to Get this down in there. All right, once you get that stuffed in, just cut this off with the knife and you can see that's sealed up pretty well. Then we'll do this side. All right, and all I did was, I just went ahead and pushed it in real good with a little pin. There we go. Okay, so one thing you do have to think about is somebody could, in the situation I've got here, somebody could lift up this window, take the air conditioner and jump in or just steal that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna improvise a little bit here with, uh, with these little brackets. Yeah, it came with two of these, so we need one of these, and this, and this. Okay, so my goal here is to keep the window from sliding up, right? Okay, easy enough. Well, kind of. So for the window to move up and down, it has to slide in this channel. 
So what we're gonna do, a lot of times I would just put a screw in the channel, but, but these actually have a little bit of a gap. It's, it's like a slider. So I'm afraid if I put a screw in there, it could still move. So we're gonna use this bracket just for extra protection, really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this where we want it to be. And then mark a little hole. There we go. Or mark, mark where we're gonna put the hole at. Get the drill. Using a bit just a little smaller than the screw. Awesome. All right. All right. And do the same on the other side. All right. Got that one. Got that one. Window won't move. All right, now the last thing is you wanna make sure no one can push the window unit in. We're gonna secure that now. Okay, so obviously we can't screw this into this or this into this. Um, ideally, what you would want to do is put you a piece of wood right here. Okay. Attach the wood, glue it, nail it, and then these would screw into the wood. But for now, we're gonna drive a couple of screws down in here, in here, and that will secure it and keep it from moving. All right, so I went ahead and got these extra screws put in. So we got one here, got one here. That way nothing can go anywhere. And I did take one extra step. Um, I would not recommend this unless you really kind of know what you're doing. Now on this air conditioner, I looked inside to make sure there wasn't anything underneath where I was gonna be drilling or tapping these screws. Um, you can tell this is all foam. There's a fan cage in there. But what I did, I added a couple of Little screws here to put a bracket in to make sure that there's no chance of it falling in. But if you don't know what's underneath there, don't don't drill it. And if you do, I didn't tell you to do it. So I'm hot and I'm ready for some air conditioning. All right. Ugh. Favorite part. Plug it in and hope it works. I think installing air conditioners is one of the most rewarding things because as soon as you get it done, you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've already worked up a sweat, now you get to cool down. All right, well, thanks for watching this little video and I hope it was informative and yeah. Now remember, don't ever try to do anything if it's way beyond your reach of, of what you're able to do. It's always helpful to have a second person though because you don't want to accidentally drop it out the window or anything. I've installed about shoot, 20 or 30 of these things over the past couple of years. I, I used to have a handyman business, so I did a lot of stuff like this, but pretty much anybody can do it. Always have a helping hand and stay cool. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified of future videos. My channel is a conglomeration, or is that a good enough word? I don't know. It's a mix of all kinds of stuff. I do car stuff, I do a little bit of DIY stuff, I do dating stuff. And um, yeah, eventually I might hone in on one thing, but for now we keep it as a, keep a little variety going. But anyway, if, uh, if you enjoyed it, just give me a thumbs up at least. Appreciate it. All right, y'all have a good day.